In this lesson today, I'm going to teach you how to solve a rational equation using a graph. So it's actually quite a simple lesson. Um, so we're, here's our rational equation here. And the first thing we want to do here is bring all the terms to one side and make it equal to zero. So uh, one thing that I try to keep in mind here is that we have a rational function and I really don't want to touch it. I kind of want to keep it where it is and not manipulate it in any way. So I'm going to bring the 2 over to the other side. So if we're going to bring the 2 over, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides and we have 0 equal to negative x squared over x minus 1 minus 2. So once again, if you can keep that rational expression on its own side and bring everything else over, it will just make things a lot easier for you when you graph it. So now you're going to take out your graphing calculators and we're going to stick this into our calculator. You're going to let this side of the equation, the right hand side, you're going to enter that as your y1. And since it's equal to 0, what we're going to try to find here are the zeros, or in other words, the x-intercepts of the graph. So taking out your TI-83 or TI-84, you're going to go into your y equals screen. You're going to plug in the rational function. So here's the toughest part when you're trying to solve this graphically. Make sure you're putting it in correctly. When you have rational functions involved, it, it does get quite complicated. So you have to use some brackets to do this. So we have a negative in front. Okay. So we're going to open a set of brackets. And then we're going to open another set. And in that set, you're going to put in the numerator. So x squared. Okay. Then you're going to close it and divide by the denominator. So we have x minus 4. Okay. Close the brackets. Close it again. Okay. And now we're going to subtract 2. So be really, really careful. Lots of practice when inputting a rational function into your calculator. Okay, so we're going to use a regular Zoom 6 standard, and we're going to take a look at the graph here. Okay, so how many points of intersections do you see? Well, we have two. So that means we actually have two solutions for x. So in order to find the solutions, we have to use the zero feature on the calculator. So hoping by now you're quite comfortable with this feature. It's really, really useful when you find your x-intercepts. So go second. Okay, so second trace. Select two for zero. We're going to find the uh, first point of intersection on the left here. So get on the left of that point of intersection and you're going to press enter. Okay, and it's going to ask you for a right bound. So get on the right bound of that point of intersection and press enter again and enter for a guess. And therefore, we have a zero at x is equal to negative four. So that's one of the solutions that I'm looking for. So we have a solution at x is equal to negative four. That's one solution already. Now we want to find the second point of intersection, which is uh, right here. So using the zero feature, we're going to find that point of intersection. So go second, trace, select two for zero. Okay, uh, there you go. And you're going to get on the left of that point. So right just about there. And then press enter. Okay, and it's going to ask you for a right bound. So get above the x-intercept, about there is good. And then press enter to guess, and you're going to get a zero at positive two. So there is the second solution, also the last solution. And uh, that's how you solve a rational equation using a graph.